Well, hello. Welcome to the In Thinking um, IB English A Literature website. Um, this short commentary is just designed to give you some information <clears throat> about the nature of the site and where to go to in order to find out uh, what information that you need. Um, the, as you can see across the top bar are the main sections of the site. Um, the first, the home page, uh, lists uh, new pages that we have just uploaded um, or additions or updates to um, uh, current and existing pages. Scrolling down you will see uh, what seem to be the most popular pages uh, currently and then underneath um, are blog entries that either David or myself have written. Um, the first two main sections, Getting Started and Core Skills, uh, these two uh, sections deal with some um, sort of overview elements, some underpinning elements of the course as a whole. The first column, Getting Started, will probably appeal more to new teachers to the course um, in the sense that it deals with um, the nature of the course, um, an introduction to it, um, the differences between literature and the language literature course, um, and uh, how to choose works, how to organize or structure your course, as well as a few other things to do with uh, to do with uh, registering um, the learner profile within your teaching um, and getting down your class. And here is also an important feature, which is uh, how to create student accounts. A lot of the pages that um, are in the site are written with students in mind, and you can um, allow students in your particular groups to access those pages or indeed request um, additional pages um, that you want your students to be able to see. The second column, Core Skills, uh, addresses some of the main skills that underpin all of the elements of the course, uh, whether those are skills to do with sensitivity to language or literary features, um, some of the elements that might be said to comprise uh, standard classroom practice in the literature classroom, um, as well as addressing some of the features to do with some of the elements to do with critical thinking and theory of knowledge. We then move into the main parts of the course, um, paper one, of course, dealing with the unseen commentary or the guided literary analysis uh, at standard level. Um, here you will see a range of pages which highlight um, what it means to look at texts when you see them for the first time. So a whole bunch of uh, pages to do with how to annotate texts, um, ways in which you might break um, ways in which you might break passages down um, into component parts, um, how you might go about teaching the skills of close reading and so on. At the bottom of this page you will see where it says marking paper one a range of marked exemplar uh, commentaries um, with examiners comments and this is a feature which you will see in all of the components and hopefully that will provide you with useful means to alert your students to the ways in which the criteria work and how they're applied. We then move into part one work in translation where you will find an overview of the four stages of the written assignment um, some strategies that you might adopt in the classroom and as well uh, quite a range of uh, example uh, essays ranging from the very very good to the not so good um, for you to show your students. Part two detailed study addresses um, the, uh, the elements of the course which are particularly focused on the analysis of, of extracts um, which in the end of course are examined through the internal oral uh, commentary uh, sorry the individual oral commentary or uh, and as well the discussion for your high level student um, we cover the procedural requirements um, what the kind of teaching strategies that you might adopt in the classroom might feel like um, we also have a section here that relates uh, is written entirely for the students uh, in which there is a sort of guide to them uh, uh, to take them through what are the main components of literary texts going right down to the basics of sound and meter and right up to the more artistic or literary qualities of imagery and metaphor and so on. We then have as well some examples of um, IOCs uh, at standard level and at high level of which have marked uh, examiner comments with them. Part three dealing with the um, second of the two exam papers um, uh, addresses the main features, the main conventions of the three main genre, um, as well as giving some so, some help uh, to your students with how to answer the exam questions, um, how to approach the exam, and also how to revise for the exam. Part four options deals with what the IB present as the three 
uh, main options reminding you of course as well that you can still choose any text that you like and mix and match these options in any way that you feel you would like to. There are some introductions to uh, the different options that are available and um, there are um, a range of um, suggestions for how to prepare your students for the presentation. And on this page we have two examples uh, currently of uh, marked um, internal oral present individual oral presentations um, that you can show to your students and if you want to make those full screen you click on this button here and that will um, do that for you. And then finally in the last two sections of the site we have a range of generic resources um, which might inform the teaching of any particular part of the course um, or might support you with introductions to the course um, or other aspects. Um, the mini texts to go take um, a range of, uh, of short texts and look at each one in terms of particular literary features. Um, we're also developing um, a range of um, site, uh, website, uh, sorry, sites that are pages that relate to the main genre. And in these um, pages, we have uh, introductions to various texts and uh, a range of suggested approaches to particular features um, of the more popular texts or indeed ones where people feel they would like um, extra uh, or further resources, further help. And then finally, at the back end of the site, we have a couple of um, areas which are to do with uh, what it would mean to deliver, uh, to, sorry, to take an extended essay in this subject, as well as some suggestions about how you might implement theory of knowledge um, in and through our course. Um, the only final thing to, to uh, just to show you is the um, button here, uh, which is the presentation mode button. Um, a lot of the um, PDFs, a lot of the um, screencasts, um, a lot of the embedded um, presentations in the in the site are designed for you to show in the classroom. And if you click on this button here, um, it will take out all the extraneous information and present you with hopefully the more meaningful stuff um, as you as you show your students. Um, and then the last thing just to point out is that the um, bottom of each page is a space where you can write comments. So if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you have anything you would like to ask or share, um, please do write those in there um, and uh, either David or myself will get back to you very, very quickly. OK, that's it. Thank you very much for listening and we hope that the uh, site continues to be of use to you.